Hey, you! Do you want to play a game that's like Breath of the Wild, but with your friends? Do you also want to experience really cool building mechanics, but then give up halfway through because you got too frustrated with how these stupid cubes were working and then you just build a giant ass tower that you could jump off of? Do you also want to severely abuse verticality mechanics and stand on every raised platform you can and wall up on enemies down below with ranged attacks? Yep, this, this boss fight's pretty exciting, Ron. Well, Enshrouded is for you! Okay, I get it. I'm, I'm excited and I promptly made fun of the game. But in all reality, this game is actually very fun. It's like this beautiful mingling of Elden Ring and Breath of the Wild. And I play with friends, so it kind of gives me that whole exploration feel over the whole base building idea. I mean, hell, our base is just a cube with everything just jammed into it. And I've taken it upon myself to make the world's worst and tallest tower in the middle of the map. None of this is beautiful, by the way, or none of this has taken my time to, you know, invest into base building, but hey, it's there. And that's a nice component of the game. But I really love the whole exploration part. It's a beautiful world. And let me back up for a second. Enshrouded is a fantastic survival game that just came out in early access. I've given probably about 50 hours of my really sad, pathetic life to play this game. I mean, quite literally, I have been spending too much time playing this game, and I really enjoy it. There's a lot of aspects that could be fixed coming out of early access, as with any game that is being developed and currently worked on, but I'll touch on those in a bit. For now, this game is really fun. The world is built to be twisting and turning around areas of Shroud, which is gross mushroom area that kills you, and other varying degrees of elevation and biomes. My favorite biome being the initial biome, which is just your basic little meadows area, and it's simple, it's pretty and everything. But as you consistently progress through these biomes, I feel like things get a little bit more disgusting, and I really start to resent them. The forest has an obnoxious flower that shoots shit at your head. The savannah has a weird hybrid of tiger, hyena, and roided up panther, so I really don't like that. I'm pretty sure there's another biome I'm forgetting, and then there's like this weird desert thing like real desert with scorpions, obviously, and wyverns. But other than that, I really enjoy the initial biome and its comforts it brings. And speaking about comforts, it really hits on that whole Valheim comfort thing where it gives you a little bit of a buff if you have like a nice little house packed with furniture. And when I say packed, I mean we really just jam packed everything into our house. Max comfort, baby. Combat's pretty fun. I found that I've become the apex predator of my entire map by just using a wand and a ward. A ward is basically a shield you can parry with for magic users, and I can essentially just block and parry everything. I was level nine going into level 30 zones, and I was capable of holding my own with no issue. Occasionally I get one tapped. And there's other classes and skills. The skill tree is pretty dope. My friend Ron uses bows. My friend Lumber uses sword and board and anything else he can get his hands on. And there's staves and, well, I'm only used to magic. That's all I've done. I just watch them do other stuff. And frankly, most of the time I spend is up in the air or up on top of a doorway where I can cheese out enemies. Like these bosses. Every single boss I've cheese, minus the wyvern. You can literally just stand above things and they can't pass. They, they can't. The funny thing is for a lot of this stuff is, and I'm gonna go to the complainy part, is I feel like the AI was designed as an afterthought. A lot of these AI just struggle to pass you. If you're standing on something that's two foot tall, they're not gonna be able to get to you. I can just stand on rocks and just murder stuff and there's no issue at all. And once you have that glider after the first few levels, you're basically invincible. You can throw yourself up on top of things, use a ranged weapon, and boom, you're good. If you want to do melee, uh -oh. enjoy the suffering because you're going to suffer through the entire thing. I'm on the bridge and there's like so much shit. I'm dead. Oh. Everything hates melee. And I'm wondering if they designed the game strictly around melee. Because as a wand, staff, bow user, yeah, we'll it's yeah, we'll pretty easy. I'm not finding anything that's too difficult. And speaking about the glider, I do want to point out something, and I will make a video about this later on, is I had a full stubbornness experience where I 
figured out a lovely glitch. And it's basically you can spam the glider, spam jump constantly, and you can get up a 90 degree sheer cliff. No issue. I've managed to get on top of things I don't belong to. Like the top of this dungeon. This is the, this is the whole top. The whole fucking dungeon. Or Wait, the snowy um, peaks that are outside the early access area. Or this giant castle that I spent way too long climbing. But aside from that, it's really fun with friends. Exploring, running through dungeons, going through the shroud and hoping you don't die because you have a really, really, really small timer. When I say really small, it's like six minutes, but you can expand it with a whole bunch of other things. Gear is pretty cool. You can loot a whole bunch of stuff. I feel like there are a lot of unique, interesting effects. You have fun quests to knock out with your friends. And if your friends aren't around, this is the really sad part. They don't get experience for your quests. So if you have a multiplayer server and you're playing by yourself like I did for like six and a half hours, they're going to miss out on everything and you're going to be level 18 and they're only going to be 11. I'm sorry, guys. Up next is my apology video. All in all, Enshrouded is a fantastic game. I enjoy it, and I like to see what happens in the future, especially with mods. But don't get me wrong, if an archer hits me as a mage user, I'm pretty much dead instantly. I just have to be on my toes. If you guys got some spare coffee change in your pockets and you really want to enjoy a good exploration, base building, survival, and torture your friends game, I would highly suggest Enshrouded. You're gonna have a lot of fun jumping off of cliffs with or without your glider. And who knows, maybe you'll meet some new friends along the way. I know I have, and I know I'm enjoying myself. Look, look, look at the attempts. Oh, come on. Anyways, it's been a blast, and I hope to see you guys soon. This is Solar. Peace out, my friends. I'm just now coming to the bridge. All right, that's it. Executive decision. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>